which when she was taking, he got very concerned. He questioned the medicines and asked like, why? officially done at her follow-up appointment. I'll explain everything here once we get officially back home. But I think it's so cute how every time we end up going to the doctors or the hospital and ever since Scarlett got a toy, what was it? The last time we were at the hospital, it was because she had allergic reaction. She's allergic to tree nuts. They gave her a toy because she did so well and all that good stuff and she got to go to the little uh, the toy closet and pick out a toy. It was like a dinosaur toy with a fossil. Ever since that day, every time we go to the doctors now, she is always like, can I have a toy? Can I have a toy? And the hospital last night was really nice and she got a coloring book and colored pencils. And now today she didn't get one and the nurse is like, I'm so sorry, you only get a toy if you get shots. And now she's like, mommy, next time when we come back, can I get shots so I can get a toy? <laughs> I'm just like, uh, yeah. <laughs> but um, she did get a sticker, right? Yeah. A gingerbread sticker. So she was still very happy that she got that at least. Let's get on the road. Okay, so a little update about how Scarlett's appointment went at the doctor's, her follow-up. So we sat down, we got to talking, he asked me how she was doing, what are her symptoms, and then I explained everything to him. He also asked what exactly happened when I ended up taking her to the emergency room. I explained all of that, I even told him that she had a breathing treatment, they gave her a breathing treatment. Once I got to talking about the medicines and which one she was taking, he got very concerned. He questioned the medicines and asked like why and I explained why but there was one of the medicines where he was like why would she even need this if they got her tested for the bacteria and tested her for everything that's going around like the sickness like COVID and I think RSV and like one other one. And that was the whole purpose and reason why they took her to, why they did an exam and got x-rays done. I don't know. I was just, 
I was shocked because when you hear that from your doctor, you're like, what the heck? Towards the end of our appointment, he was still okay with her taking one of the, um, her medicines and seeing how she was doing. Both medicines that were prescribed to her, she has to take for seven days. And she now has to do anywhere from three to four treatments a day, which is not her favorite, but it definitely has to be done so that her health is getting better, better, better. It would definitely help open up her airway. The good thing though is she's not going to be in school. She's going to be going on her fall break. So it would be easier to do her breathing treatments. Fast forward back to her follow-up appointment. That was all her doctor said. So the only thing I can do moving forward is just continuing to give breathing treatments and her medicine every day. Now technically she has like three medicines that she has to take in the morning. So fun. Good thing she doesn't really give me a hard time taking her medicine. Um, I always say to her, it's going to make you feel better, then your cough will go away and you won't be sick anymore. I try to talk to her positive so that it's a more fun experience for your child. So um, that's what I try to do. While Scarlett and I were at the emergency room, they did allow us to bring home like a new mask for her nebulizer and she absolutely loves it. It's shaped as an elephant and... She thinks it's the coolest thing instead of just like the plain ones. These are the ones that she normally has and the hospital gave her one that looked like an elephant. So she was really excited and ever since then she wants to do her breathing treatments even more. I just want to take the time to anyone out there that completely understands what I am going through. When it comes to your kids, it makes me feel that I know that I am not completely alone. It's just... I know some of you said that kids grew out of it at a certain age, um, so I'm obviously, hopefully, Scarlett growing out of it, or it's not as bad when she gets older. So <clears throat> thank you for the love and the support as always. It means something to me, especially when you are a parent and you just don't know what to do and all of this is new to you and you're just learning how to handle it. So thank you. Your love and support really does go a long way. Hopefully, fingers crossed, she will not have this horrible cough any much longer and her asthma starts to get better. As always, thank you guys for tuning in today. I hope you guys are having a good day today and I will see you guys next time. Bye.